chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. This is a, a parable. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's a parable? A parable is a story that Jesus tells. Not specifically Jesus, but it can be anything. But it's, a, it's an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. An earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Okay. Luke 18, 9. And he also told this parable to some people who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and viewed others with contempt. Now, two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I pay tithes of all that I get, but the tax collector, standing some distance away, was even unwilling to lift up his eyes to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, yet he who humbles himself will be exalted. So, right now you're probably asking, Zach, that's just a bunch of words on a page. Okay, let's put it like this. So these two guys were there, they were in the temple. Now back in the day, that, that's where everybody was. Pharisee is a guy who is a religious leader. He's like modern day pastor, modern day, you know, you know what I'm saying? Get up there. The tax collector was, he was a, a, a cheat. All he did was steal from people. What he would have to do is he would collect taxes from people, and he'd have to give it to the government. Then he would have to give it to the other people that want their cut. And then he's like, hey, I want to make some money, so he would get his money. So he would be stealing from people. So he was usually looked down upon in society. So really, you've got two <coughs> spectrums right here. we got good and bad. Okay? Good and bad. Um, so the Pharisee's there, and he's standing there. He's saying, God. God, I thank you that I'm not like this guy over here. <laughs> this guy is ugly. This guy, he, um, he does bad things. He doesn't do good. I mean, this guy makes bad grades. Uh, this guy, all he does is uh, cheat on girls. Um, all he does is uh, bad stuff, right? Things that we would modern day consider bad, okay? And he 
right there himself is saying, God, I I put myself one step above this guy. Because this guy is a tax collector, is a Pharisee. Pharisee, so tax collector. Now the tax collector is just standing there and he's like, Nice, God. Can't even lift up his face. He's just Like God, I, I can, I'm, he's, he's, I'm a, I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad sinner. I don't, I don't deserve anything. But God, if you could just reach out to me, if you could just show me your grace, that's all that I want. And so God, so, but Jesus is showing us this story so that we can look at it and we can say, God does not. To your right, and I look to your left. Okay, you're not better than that person. I'm sorry. Um, but they're not, but they're not better than you. Okay. Now we all have relative terms of what's better, but the the key thing to take away here is that not that we don't be like the Pharisee, because if we say, hey. I don't want to be like that guy. That guy looks down on other people. Because then you're going against exactly what you just said you're not going to do. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm going to read some Bible verses. Because that's good thing to do. I'm going to read some scriptures. And I'm going to do it on my phone. Because phones are cool. Um, so uh, this is 1 Timothy 1.15. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I'm the worst. This is Paul writing a letter to Timothy, and he's saying, guys, look, God, Jesus came to save everyone. Um, who, who here has ever read first from John 3.15? Does that ring a bell? so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Close. <laughs> <laughs> whoever believes in him. Anybody believes in him. Just kidding. Just kidding. So we get it. We get it. God came to save everybody, but the key word here is that God so loved the world. He so loved the world. He didn't just kind of love the world. He so You have a, a mom or a dad or a brother or a sister, anybody you love. I mean, you you might love them, but do you so love them? I'm not the key one to, to, to recognize here in First Timothy 1.15 is that Paul is saying that he is the worst sinner. But you might be saying, well, he wrote a book of the Well, here, before, Paul was one that killed Christians whenever he was formerly known as Saul. That was his life. Killed people because they were Christians. And that's pretty bad, okay? That's pretty bad. <coughs> I, I don't know that. Have you ever killed anybody? Please do not say this. <laughs> Another another verse. One of one of Johnny's Johnny loves this verse. <coughs> First Corinthians nine nineteen. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I may win some. Right. For though I am free from all men, so basically he's saying, I'm not a slave. Um, he says, after he has made himself free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all. Paul
Paul is saying here that just because you're free from doing something, just because you don't do something, just because it's wrong to do something, don't do something wrong. Um, just because you think it's weird to do something. That kid at the other table on the lunch table when it's all full and you're like, guys, I don't have any room at this lunch table, but there's a lunch of full one over there, but I don't want to go. There's this weird kid over there. Sometimes you might have to sacrifice. <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> But it doesn't say so that he may win all. It doesn't say he's going to win everybody. It doesn't say everybody's going to come to know Christ. It says that he may win some. Come on. Some. What? But if I'm going to, I want, a th I want about a thousand, man. I want to, I want to hit it all. I want to hit home runs every time. Sorry. It clearly says here that you're only going to win some. So it's the Christian life. perfect verse for this. This is John 10.10. 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that, I might, that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is much like what I'm, I'm referencing here in, in, Luke, uh, in Luke. The tax collector is, is one that he stole from people. He's a thief. He, you can insert that guy here. But you don't just have to insert that guy, that that guy. Insert yourself. Okay? Who here has done anything bad? Heaven. Okay, I see you. I see you not raising your hand. I see you. I see you. Okay. So, Romans 3.23, for well, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Everybody's a bad guy. Everybody's a thief that has come to steal and kill and destroy. But here's the thing, we all like, we don't like to recognize it. We don't want to like to think that we do bad things. I do bad things. What does it say? It says that I I came that they may have life. Now, what is he talking about here? Is he talking about like like life like LeBron James did back there? That dude. Boom! Crushed him. Crushed him. No, he doesn't say that he's gonna have like <laughs> earthly life. It, it's, it's heaven. It's spiritual life. It's a a next step life. You're going to have a you're gonna Christian life. But that you may have a Okay. Now there's, there's, there's two types of Pharisees. Okay. There's two different types of people that are Pharisees. Um, that, that I see here. We have one that's an, an, an unrepentant Now he's 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 arrogant. He's look, man. I know I do good. And I know you do bad. And I know I should probably do better. But it's okay because what I do is okay. What I do, I mean, everybody does it. It's not that bad. Smoke. Um. Uh. Hey, I don't do it. Um. Arrogant. He's he's very arrogant and boastful. He likes to he likes to. Say what he does well. He likes to say that he's like, I don't know, Blake Griffin. He's very good. Okay. Um, now, I love, I love that, that, that uh, video was played earlier today with uh, Julian's 
Smith, the three ordered blessing. That was not even my video. I don't even know who came up with that video, but I, I literally have in here that who in here has ever prayed a prayer like this? I know I have. Yeah, don't look. Raise your hand. Just okay. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, <laughs> we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest, and I want to thank you. I want to. I want to. I want to take time to say thank you for my family and my life and my fun. I also want to thank you for one of my best friends and teammate, Cal Mountain Jr. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Number two. We have we have one that is the fan. Okay. He's a fan. He's the fan Pharisee. Okay. Now you might be asking yourself, what does that mean? No, it does not mean he's like one of those guys that was in the video earlier that was watching those guys right? crush it. That's not what I'm talking about. He's a guy who, who looks like he's doing everything right, but he's just not there with his heart. He's just not there with his heart. And he doesn't sold himself. He hasn't, hasn't given himself to Christ. Now, you're something like this in Matthew 15, 8. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Okay. I gotta be honest, I totally stole from some above. Okay. I stole from a book. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. It's a book uh, called Not a Fan. love Jesus on Tuesday. That's my day. Okay? That's my day. I don't love Jesus on Tuesday. On Wednesday, though, I come and I'm praising. Yeah, get it. Get it. So, but, but it's not just the, 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 what we like to think. We like to think, oh, it's those people that, um, they, they only come on Wednesday nights, or they only come on Sunday mornings, or they only come on Sunday nights. Okay, but so they, we like to think that, well, it's only the people that never come on this day. It's, ne it's never the people that come both Sunday and Wednesday. Those people are followers. They love Jesus. Okay, <laughs> only if you come on Sunday and Wednesday. If you don't come on both, you don't love Jesus. Sorry, that's not Probably not met everybody in this room. I don't know if you love Jesus or not, okay? I know you love Jesus. Right, Dan? <laughs> um, but so, now, there's there's something different, though. There's something different about this follower guy. This follower. Okay, I'm going to use the Bible. Is it a bunch of them? No, it's not. It's better. It's got special powers. <laughs> So loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever 
whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I don't know that one, sorry. I know I, I said it earlier, don't. Pay attention to this. We're going to test it, though. We're going to read 17. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. What? <laughs> Not have come to save this guy. I, I, let, name the guy. And, and, and Bob. <laughs> Jesus did not come to save Bob. Bob does bad things. I'm not going to name things because then people will be like, I'm judging you. I'm going to be like, no, I'm not judging you. I'm just. Bob does bad things. Bob believes he is beyond saving. We like to tell him that he is beyond saving, but he is not, or no one is beyond saving. Okay. We're not going to go over the stuff we went over Monday night, okay? We're not going over that. I'm going over that. Okay. Sorry, sidetrack. Continue. Okay. Um, now, I, I, I referenced we need to so love. But we don't just need to so love the people we love. Wait a second, that is. We need to so love everybody. Like most everybody. Everybody. <laughs> okay. I know there's people you don't like. I don't like people, okay? There's certain people I don't like. Those of you who are from Global, do not say anything. <laughs> We can't just believe that he died, because if we believe that he died, then that doesn't make us any different than any other religion in the world. He didn't just die, he came back to life. He did the little Johnny thing. Today, you know why? You want to know why? You want to know why? Because he lives in me. Jesus. <laughs> I know I love Jesus. You 
love Jesus?